right, Chris Simpson here again for our, our dumbbell workout for our 40 Fit and Fabulous. I have my friend Amy here that's going to go through a dumbbell circuit with you. She's going to work for 30 seconds and then take 15 seconds to change exercises. Her first move is going to be a half kneeling overhead press. Amy's going to step down, sink. We want her knee, hip, and ankle in line here, weights on her heel. She's a real straight line through this backside. Elbow is tucked down, knuckles up. Go ahead, Amy, press that up overhead. We want her arm by her ear, not by her face, front of her face. She's gonna work on this press for 30 seconds. Go ahead and do a couple of those. We're gonna keep her glute tight back here, abs brace. She's reaching as high as you can. You can really see her rib cage lift up. That'll get a good stretch, a little more core work. After 30 seconds, she's gonna switch sides. So you're going to switch the hands and switch her leg. Again, she's got 90 degrees here, weight's on her heel. She's in line with her hip and ankle. Knuckles up, power it up. Good, back glutes fired, abs are braced. We got to make sure that we can do 30 seconds on each side. So she started with her non-dominant side. If you can't do 30 seconds with your weak side, start with that and do as much time on the other side. Okay, her next move is a step up. So she's going to stand on up and we're going to step back to our step here. You can use a step to do this. She's going to keep the weight in one hand. And she's going to alternately step up on that box, nice and tall, come back. She's going to switch feet, what she leads with. When we put the weight in one hand, we make the core balance her a little bit more so it gives a nice core challenge besides her legs getting work. Now, if she switches hands, I can make this more of a challenge. You do want to make sure you switch hands with the weight. Is that she's going to step up and drive her knee up. Pause there, it's a little bit of balance work. Step all the way off. Go ahead and switch your legs. You can keep the weight in that same side. And then drive up with the other leg. Pause up there. So not easy to do with that pride. Keep it in your right hand, switch legs. Drive it up, pause. Higher she brings this leg, the more she recruits the back glute. Gets that muscle working a little bit. She'll do that for 30 seconds per side with the weight. So she keeps it in her right hand for 30 seconds. She has 15 second rest, then she'll put it in her left hand. Our next move, we're going to come down to the mat and we're going to do a lying pullover. So she's going to lay down, knees bent. She's going to keep us spine neutral. So however she's laying there, she's not going to try to arch her back. She's hanging on to the ends of the dumbbell, reaches her arms nice and long, and then pulls them back over, trying to get a good stretch through her lats. Brings it forward. Now the tough part is pulling for her. She's going to go ahead and keep it up. She's going to exhale as she goes. Inhale here, I'm sorry, inhale there. Exhale, coming forward. If she can get the weight to the floor without arching her back, she'll get to the floor. So we get a great stretch through the lats. Abs get some work. And if you're at your desk all day, this is a great stretch for your back. Good move. She's gonna do this one for 30 seconds. We're not trying to rush on this. The tendency would be if she rushed on it and did as many as she could in 30 seconds, she would eventually arch her back and her back would be sore. Okay. Now her last move then is that we're going to do an overhead march. So go ahead and stand back up, Amy. She's going to hang on to the weight. We'll put her back here. Reach that arm nice and tall. Okay, we want again, like we did with the overhead press, that's the finished position. She's going to try to keep her legs straight. What she's going to do for our filming is an in place march. High knee and come back. So it, it unbalances her core. So it's got to work more to try to stabilize her. She's keeping this nice and straight so the shoulder gets a bit of work. Go ahead and switch sides. What you're going to do is move on this. So reach the other arm up. Again, she's in good position. She's going to march. Now, the longer she takes lifting a leg and lowering it, the more core challenge it is. So again, it's not about how far you go. It's just how long you have to stabilize. Go ahead and bring your arm down. All right, there's our four moves for the dumbbell. Thanks for being participating and watching our series. I hope it helps you be fit, 40, and fabulous.